Welcome back at 851. Right now, the Philadelphia School of Circus Arts is signing up kids for its summer circus camp. So this is where your children will train with professional artists, learning acrobatics, tightrope walking, juggling, and more. Rachel Moore is joining us live. Is she on the tightrope? Hey, Rachel. Can you talk and tightrope at the hey, same time? Guys. <laughs> I cannot talk in tightrope at the same time. That's not even a real tightrope, though. That one is way too hard. So many challenging things to do here at the Philadelphia School of, of Circus Arts. I want to bring in, uh, thank you so much for joining us, Miss O'Neill. You are the owner, the founder, um, one of the or one of the owners of yes. this establishment. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what is the hardest thing to do here? Because I've done so many things that you guys have been teaching me. I'm breaking a sweat already. Uh, what is the hardest thing to do here? Mm, it's coming. It's giving yourself <laughs> permission to try. Uh, really, we have something for everybody here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, different students of all ages, all body types, uh, limb differences, uh, on the spectrum, everything else like that, verbal, nonverbal. Um, athletes, <laughs> you name it, you name it, figure skaters, you know, every, everything else like that. And really, the biggest thing is that uh, people often feel that they don't have permission to do this, mm -hmm. that this is something you have to be born into or that you have to have certain prerequisites, and you don't. Yeah. Uh, not at all. No level of dexterity needed at all. You were talking about how athletes and just all different types of people come in mm -hmm. here. So age-wise, because you do have a kids' summer camp program, but this is also for adults as well. Absolutely. The school started uh, with adults. I started in uh, the, our founder, Shana Kennedy's backyard <laughs> in uh, 2002, I believe, right? Uh -huh. And, um, you know, the thing is, is that it's this childlike quality of being able to try something you've never done before, but mm -hmm. really life has taught you, you know, uh, how to be upside down or you, you've, you've had it one, there's a little bit of nostalgia yeah. to it. Yeah, you like know? playing on the monkey bars for sure. I do want to ask one of the kids who are a part of this program. This is Juniper right now here in the sling. Juniper, thank you so much for joining us. You started summer camp last year and then you started to do the year round program. Why did you want to do that? Um, I wanted to do the year-round program because it was really fun when I did it over the summer and I just really liked it. It wasn't as competitive as, as doing gymnastics or cheerleading, but it was still really fun and I got to do the silks and the sling and the lyre and that trapeze too and more acro and it, it was really fun. And you get to perform at the end of it all too when it comes to the holiday performances, whether it's the Halloween performance or the Christmas performance. Jennifer, thank you so much. Go ahead and give us some more uh, show right here. I'm going to send it back to you guys at the desk. I'm going to learn more of these things. I got to tell you guys, this is so cool. It's so much fun. Okay, go ahead and swing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to mess up your show. Uh, this is so much fun, you guys. I'm having such a great time and and you can sign up online. We're going to put a link on our website at phl17.com. Sending it back to you guys. <laughs> Looks like so much fun in there. So many things uh, <laughs> that kids can learn, especially during summertime. Good to get active. Thanks, Rachel.